First of all, fuck you. Second of all, so my train doesn't come for like an hour and a half. I have made it to Bear Mountain Inn, uh, and I'm actually not in Harriman yet. I'm gonna head down from Bear Mountain into Harriman, but I probably won't do that until tomorrow. I got a three mile hike to make it to my first shelter, and it should be pretty good to go. Uh, I will show you the first thing that I've got rigged up though, my bag, with the smaller Brunson panel, which uh, right there, it's, you can't see it because it's on the inside. That actually just dumps right out to a USB, uh, you know, five volt connection. So I've got my iPhone charging and it should work uh, pretty well. So we'll see what happens. The very first thing is gonna be going right up the hill. If this all goes to plan, the Suffren Bear Mountain Trail is where I'm gonna be on, which starts here. So here we go. All right, do I look tired yet? Cause I'm already sweating and out of breath, and I'm only I'm maybe like a quarter of a mile away. I'm gonna be totally screwed. All right, so I am about halfway to my shelter, which is cool, uh, making good time. As you can see, the creeks are running, which means as long as there's not a whole lot of heavy metals, I should be able to filter this out and get some, some water at some point. If nothing else, I can wash my clothes and stuff. At this rate, I should hit my campground like six or so. I have some sunscreen, but it doesn't seem to be working very well. I'm really pale, so I'm gonna get nuked. Uh, there are a shitload of these little biting flies, and I don't have any DEET or anything. I may have to get on the internet and see if there's any sort of like natural insect repellent or, you know, cover myself in ash or just suck it up. It's probably the most likely thing. So anyway, so far so good. Uh, stop recording. The most important thing to do when you're crossing a stream is always hold a camera and have in your back pack some sort of big heavy computer and battery that if it gets wet will probably explode. Okay. Oh, I'm close. Oh shit, I almost did fall. Ha! Woo! All right, to get to the top of this hill, I have to climb up all that. All right, I have made it with a little sunlight to spare. And check it out, there's the shelter which I have a feeling is going to have an awesome view. Yeah, there's still a fire going. I don't see anybody. Nobody's got their stuff set up. So, I don't know what that's about, but f*** all that, because check out the view. Not bad, right? Uh, the solar panel, the one piece that goes from this to the battery. I forgot it. Alright, I have a little hope. This is the standard connector that goes from the battery or into the solar panel. I have two of these, but there's another 12 volt connector that needs to go in here with the same tip. And that's how I would go from the panel into the battery, this thing right here. I've got to figure out a way to cut the tip off of this without shorting something out. I'm not even really sure how power works. Here's the uh, the 12 volt plug and it's just got these two soldered connections here. This is where it needs to plug in. All right, well, we may have a problem. Something popped and snapped, I think, inside the inverter. Yeah, something exploded. Smoke is usually a bad sign. All right, check this shit out. See that light? That means the Solo 15 is charging. Now I need to go find water. Yeah, awesome. All right, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's the rattlesnake I almost stepped on, which would have fucking been a bad day. That's some Survivor Man shit right there. All right, well, I, uh, I made it past the rattlesnake. So now I'm gonna test the Steripen Journey LCD. All right, put this in here. I'm just gotta wait a minute and a half, but it should be okay. Flies and bugs down here by the water are crazy. Hey, that tastes good. My panel is working. The good news is, took the battery, 
plugged it into the inverter and plugged it into the laptop and the laptop started to charge. So I've got enough power for tonight. Um, I'm still probably going to leave in the morning because I'm a pussy. It's Thursday morning and I'm going to get out of here. Um, I know that carrying all this stuff out into the woods is antithetical to the spirit of camping. What are you doing out there? I can't believe you're bringing all this stuff out there. First of all, f*** you. Second of all, they were totally right. There is something about being outdoors that just makes you want to say f*** it all and like f*** all technology and just like enjoy being outdoors. You know how you get you get into that kind of paranoid thing when you're outdoors and you're camping where you're like, holy shit, am I going to get eaten by something or am I going to wake up with a rattlesnake in my, in my bag? You know, popcorn. You know, and I just told it, sort of told my brain like, you know, if you hear anything, wake up, um, which works for some reason. Sorry, I just saw the moon. Like, my mind was still back in, in New York and, the, and the, the internet and, like, the way I normally live. And, you know, I had enough to, like, cook my meal last night, and, and but not enough to have a fire while I was sleeping. I don't know. Maybe not. Whatever. It's f***ing morning. I really did like the ability to, like, send people images from my phone and stuff like that, like, while camping, which just sounds goofy, but it was really cool to be like, here I am. That may have more to do with me being an internet addict. So how about an, a proper closer? I brought too much stuff. Just for a second, I thought this wasn't recording. Awesome. Oh, shit. I don't think I was recording last time. Okay, so one last thing before I go that I wanted to show you, and it's not a new product at all, but this thing has been great out here. Uh, it's the Joby Gorilla Pod. I mean, look at that. Like, that's my tripod. I haven't found a tree yet. This thing won't, won't you know, go around, so definitely recommended.